My name is James Carmody, and this is how you calculate mortgage rates and payments for buying a home. First things first, what type of loan program are you applying for? Are you a veteran who has served our country and you can put zero down? There's a whole set of guidelines for you. Are you not a veteran or maybe you're a first time home buyer and you've got some blemishes on your credit and you need to look at an FHA loan, which is insured by HUD. Those allow you to put down three and a half percent. Or is your credit a little bit better? And you know you wanna put down three, five, 10, 20%, or maybe you're an investor and you wanna put down 20 or 25. You know, let's unpack it depending upon the program. So for VA, interest rate's not gonna get impacted by credit score. Depending upon the lender, VA will go down to 580, some cases 500. Now there is a caveat to that, you know, if you're at 580 or below, you might have an adjustment to the interest rate, but otherwise you shouldn't. At 620, 720, 780, 800, all the same interest rate, okay? FHA, same thing. But once you get below that 580, you might have an adjustment to the interest rate. Now here's where it kicks in is on the conventional and jumbo side of things. You have interest rate tiers depending upon FICO score. And you wanna think about 620, 680, 700, and then from 700, it's gonna go in 20 point buckets. 720, 740, 760, 780 and above, depending upon the program and the investor. Now obviously the higher the FICO score, the lower the interest rate. Let's talk about backing into the payments. It's a mortgage. That mortgage has an amortization schedule, meaning there's one part principal, two part interest. Unless of course you're doing interest only, but most mortgages, one part principal, two part interest. And you've got a payment schedule. If that payment is, you know, if that mortgage is 30 years, there's 360 payments. If it's 15 years, it's got 180, 10, 120. You get where I'm going here. But so you take the amount that you're borrowed, take the interest rate, plug it into a mortgage calculator, a finance calculator over the length of the mortgage. So 30 years, 360, that gives you your principal and interest payment, okay? So that's the big piece. Other pieces that go into your payment are gonna be, do you have mortgage insurance, right? If it's an FHA loan or a conventional loan with less than 20% down, or you know, there's no lender paid mortgage insurance involved, you might have monthly mortgage insurance. And how expensive the mortgage insurance is on a conventional loan is gonna be dictated by your credit score. FHA, it's all the same, right? But so now we've got principal, interest, mortgage insurance, okay? What's next? Property taxes, yes. Tax man always wants theirs. Here in San Diego, we typically use one and a quarter percent of the price as a rule of thumb. Now it'll vary. Most of the county kind of rolls 1.1 to 1.2, depending upon where you're at. And that's times the price, divide by 12, gives you your monthly. So now we've got principal, interest, mortgage insurance if applicable, and then property taxes. Okay, what's last? Insurance, you gotta insure this bad boy. Even if you have a condo or townhome, you're gonna have a small walls in policy that might run you several hundred dollars annually because the HOA is going to insure most. If you've got a home, right, you might be looking at 0.1 to 0.2% of the price of the home, depending upon the cost. Divide that by 12, that gives you monthly. So now we're looking at payments, right? What makes up payments and interest rates? Principal, interest, mortgage insurance, taxes, insurance. Condo or townhome, HOA would be separate, right? So all these things go into what calculates and creates your mortgage payment, right? Starts with the loan program, goes to credit, and then it goes to the length of the term and the interest rate that you get. Interest rate is very important, but it is not the only thing. Talk about a couple other things for you renters that are a little bit different than owners that you don't currently have, right? You might not be on the hook for water or trash. There's other utilities and other bills that come up with home ownership that you don't have as a renter that you wanna be prepared for. You know, as a tenant, you might not be on the hook for any of the utilities, it might be included, or maybe you have gas and electric, if anything. As a homeowner, you're responsible for all of it. And then also, God forbid you have a utility breakdown or you have something that needs repairs. You know, there's extra monies that you're gonna to wanna to have set aside to be prepared. So all of that being said, a lot goes into the payment, a lot goes into the interest rate. It's extremely important that you get educated on all of it so you can make a solid financial decision for you to hit your goals and make sure you're comfortable and everything works for you.